Get my trusty cheap knife here. Open up my Amazon box. Big box. Nice packaging. Kind of nice tape in here. My dog doesn't like it. As usual. Mm, so. Basically, I got a MacBook Pro, and I'll be traveling, hotel rooms and whatnot, and I would like to have a second screen, so basically that's the goal of this guy, so I have myself a second screen here, this is a portable monitor. Got off Amazon, it was about 260 I think. My dog does not like it. Alright, so this is the cover stand combination here. It's a nice packaging as well. Pretty thick plastic bag here. And you got this stuff. We'll eat that. Go ahead. I'm sure it's tasty. A little uh, flip up stand and cover for the screen here. It's like magnetizing or something. It connects somewhere. It's pretty good. Nice installer. Some guy to tell you how to set it up. It shouldn't be any setup really. You're supposed to just plug in one port and be good. Some directions in case you're wondering. There's the one cord to actually connect it. It's like just USB C. And this is a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. And let's see what we got here. Alright, so this is a goofy little gimmick they have. It's a ASUS, well it's not even labeled. It's an ASUS pen. That is labeled. Uh, a Sue Sin screen pen. You can stick this in the hole in the bottom of the screen right there to hold it like a little stand. It's pretty good. Doesn't look like a nice pen though. Yeah, see. Well, here's our main attraction. It's a pretty nice packaging there. And so it's basically. Just one big screen there, right? You can see, look at that. I got my Amazon Basics tripod. Still gonna be shaky. Look at that. Shaking like crazy for all you people that complain about my shaky video. Filming on my Moto Z2 Force without optical image stabilization. Dog in the background, still don't care. So, you can see there's a little hole, right? This is. Kind of goofy. Let's open my fancy pan. Might want to come out. So you got this hole here. You literally stick your pan in like that. And 
hold your monitor up. It's pretty goofy. But, if it works, it works, right? So it looks pretty good. It's super light. Again, I'm super strong, so everything still pretty light to me, but pretty cool. And I don't know which side goes in where here. Just zoom like that. So there you got your whole packet right there, right? It's supposed to be like 15.6 inches. Boom. Boom. And this is supposed to make some kind of stand to hold it up, but I don't know how that's supposed to do that. This a triangle of some sort. I don't know. I'm gonna use the pen. I'll figure it out. Maybe in the head, the back there. But you can see, super thin, super light. So this will be good. So I'm gonna pack that in my backpack. Uh, my laptop backpack along with my MacBook Pro and that way when I'm in a hotel room I can still work on my second screen so I can use my second monitor in a hotel and it won't take up very much space in my backpack so pretty neat that light showing my ugly ceiling fan but Pretty cool. Alright, so here we are showing how connected to a MacBook Pro. As before, this is the USB C side. This is also USB C, but then it has an adapter to go to uh, regular USB. I don't remember what you call that. And so here's my actual screen. And like I said before, it has this ink pen that you stick in there. You just stick it in this hole right here. Bit snug. And then, see, stands up just perfectly. Alright, and then so. the USB-C side into this here back up on my ink pen stand now here's my MacBook Pro with my fantastic website 512.com you're pretty excited to see it I'm sure and then you just plug the USB in here into the actual USB port. And as soon as you do that, the thing comes on. second screen working and I can even drag this guy over here as you can see now my screen is working just fine you can maximize it it's not a touch screen or anything right but you can maximize it out and see screen works great you got space if you want to keep them apart. Uh, what you do need to do is install a driver. And I'll put a link in the description. And then you got this button here for some options. Let's see if I can lower this guy down. Shakiness. Alright. 
So, if you click on these two buttons, one, uh, you know, it's like an old school monitor, right? You got your options to throw through, and this one checks it. So, which this guy goes to like a shortcut. It's blue. Let's go to the blue light filter. Let's go to your menu. Full menu options. Got a lot of different color options. I don't know what any of them do. Blue light filter. You should know what that does. If you don't know what it does, it goes uh, blue light filter will take literally take the blue light out and give you that night. It should help your sleep. Standard color controls. Don't know what this image stuff does. Uh, I've tried a bunch of these. I just kind of left it on standard. This way you can change the shortcut button. You push that one button. And then you can set up your favorites. So when you hit that one button, it works. But yeah. Yeah, so when you hit that button, it would have your favorites listed here. Uh, yeah, I just stuck it on standard mode. Uh, you know, if I wanted to go with these screen settings, you hit the check mark and then you go through. You can see it doing stuff. Everyone seems pretty dark to me, so. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And like that, it's real quick. Uh, there's no power button or anything like that, so as you plug, oh, there's a power button, sorry. <laughs> so I guess you can turn it off if you wanted to. This little guy over here. And now your screen's off. Turn it back on. And there you go. That should be back to my. Yeah, back to your desktop. So that's pretty cool, right? Alright. That's, that's about it. I just want to add this on here so you can see. In case you're wondering why I even would want this extra monitor, uh, it's for my job. I travel a lot. Uh, spoiler alert: I don't make all my money off this YouTube. I know you see 125 subscribers, you're like, that guy must be rolling in YouTube money. But I actually have a real job, and I want to travel with the combination of these items. I got my MacBook and the screen. So we have dual monitor set up, and then I also purchased the Magic Keyboard and Magic Print Pad. That way I can put those back, like in a hotel room, I can put that on the desk there and stretch it out and then still use, you know, this to go through my keyboard and my dog won't be in the hotel bothering me. So, you can see, the setup, Magic Trackpad, Magic Keyboard, MacBook, and your Azus Sense screen. That's a pretty good setup. Uh, you don't, it'll work without a MacBook. It'll work with a Chromebook or anything that has USB power. So, I don't know if a Chromebook, Chromebook probably work. Definitely a laptop. Anyhow, but this is a pretty good setup. Alright, so, uh, there it is.